Amanda Roses, and welcome to episode four of Stray. Last time we played, a lot actually happened. The major thing was that we found out that B12, our little robot friend, actually used to be human. Basically, he uploaded his mind into a computer so that he could help take down the barrier blocking the sky and kind of got stuck instead and then eventually uploaded into B12. And so that's why he kept thinking about the doctor. The doctor was actually himself. And he was really sad after he found that out because he was wondering what happened to his family. I personally am wondering if all the robots used to be humans, um, if all of their minds were uploaded and they kind of forgot that they used to be human and thought instead that the humans were just their predecessors. But it'll be interesting to find that out. The other thing is that we left the slums and first went to a really cool area called Ant Village, where it was just this like whole village around a tree. It was really beautiful. Very short though. And then from there, we are now currently in Midtown. So we found Clementine, who was the friend of some of our people in the slums. And uh, now we were on a mission to her to get a battery, to get, um, get her into the corp or something like that. I can't totally remember. But anyways, we're going to be exploring Midtown and completing her mission. So. Let's play! Oh, look at the ear! Look at our cat's ear and the little tail swish! Oh yeah, so last time we got a cassette player from these guys. So now we kind of have to um, go find someone named Blazer, I think? But I also just kind of want to explore as we go. So we're going to like talk to people. Ooh, Mo. Whistles. I think we've talked to Mo before. Is he smoking? Isn't that so cool right now? So chill. I think that nothing bad can happen to us. We have talked to him. I just didn't notice he was smoking or fake smoking anyways. Oh, we've talked to Glack too. Uh, okay, yes, we've been this way. I'm gonna go down the middle, I guess. Oops, knocked something down. Oh, have we been in here yet? I don't think so. Let's go. Let's go, Ty. Oh, we have been in here. Although, I don't know if we went in the back last time. So we're gonna go do that. Oh! We sleep? He's snoring! Robot snore! That's funny. Wait, why is this cat having so much trouble right now? The cat is struggling right here. I guess you can't talk to him? Oh, there's a ladder up here. Being our general nuisance, as usual. Oh, right on him! mean of us that was so mean of us I can't believe we just fully knocked a thing of bottles on him oh poor guy here's a gowan I want to follow him He does not look happy. He looks very tired. Does he work here? Is he mad? Though they're all empty. 
That was cool. That was neat. Okay, now we can explore. Ah, we can make a mess too. Hopefully this guy doesn't kick us out if he sees us. Oh no, wait, I don't want to go in the box again. Is there anything to do in here? Oh, you can steal a hat! <laughs> That's so funny, you can steal a hat! Oh wait, we can scratch. Scratchy, scratchy, scratchy. Can we wear the hat? Unfortunately, this helmet is too big for you. Aw, oh, that's unfortunate. I wanted to wear- I wanted to see your cat wearing a hat. That would be cute, a cat wearing the hat. Okay, I think we've seen everything now. Huh, we just got to steal a hat. Okay. Mmm. Hello! The person arrested was not Clementine. Continue the search. Oh. Scary. Being a menace. Whoa! Let's see. It's interesting to see robots mimicking human behavior, human work and behavior. Here they seem to sell burgers and street food. I remember my favorite place to go when I was human. It was small and welcoming, and the server's name was. I don't remember. It started with M, I think. Oh. It's so sad. Can you imagine, like, once being human and then having to live without, like, eating food and tasting things? Like, that's so sad. Oh, let's meet him. What can I do for you? Hey, maybe- see? Nappy? He said it started with a man, too? Maybe it's the same person. What can I do for you tonight, chef? Oh. Can't you pay me with real money? <laughs> oh, that was cute. Alright, what else have we- we can tell that now. Been in there. Been in there. Hundi, I just walked through the elevator and got yelled at by sentinels. For years, we have been told that the surface is not uninhabitable. We just accept this as a fact? But why? Mmm, yeah, it's suspicious to me. You know what, my friend? Stay away from the Sentinels. They're vicious and they got my buddy Pablo. He's in for 350 years! So be careful. That's terrible. Oh! <gasps> He's making a heart! Oh! That's so cute! Okay, so I can't do that. In here. It's a clothing store! Are you one of those young punks listening to loud music all day? <laughs> don't touch anything, don't make any noise, don't ask for credit. That's so funny. Look at the styles! Can we steal the jacket? No. Nope. Oh, okay. Not while he was paying attention. This is so cool! Look at all the outfits! The style is actually not bad! I bet people would wear a lot of this stuff. I love it! It's so out there! Ooh. Cute little kitty. I just gotta keep his paws good. Oh, there's somebody trying on clothes back here! Looking good, my friend! Looking good! Oh! Can we put the... This is from last time we got it. Oh wow, that's loud! 
loud. Oh, music! Very loud. <laughs> oh, I just like it. Oh, oh, we can go steal the thing now! I don't know why I would want to steal this particular jacket, but I guess we did. Music's pretty good. <laughs> Not as good as our musician friend, though. I liked our musician friend. Hello, who are you? Laser! I'm busy, what do you want? Ah, this is the guy we need to find. Where did you get this? Oh, you're with the outside my contact? <laughs> Let me be thinking about the atomic battery. The battery is powering the Nico Corp factory right there, but this whole area is restricted and heavily guarded. I checked every person who enters and turns away anyone who is not a worker. Here's an idea. Go get me a worker jacket and worker helmet. Oh, I wonder we already got like that construction helmet and the, the pink jacket. I wonder if that is what that was for. <laughs> Every time we get items, I'm always like, oh, this is just like a fun little thing that we get. And then they end up using it for something like same with the knit, ja the knit poncho. Why well, stay here to check for a good time to enter? Get me a worker jacket and a worker's helmet so we can go. Excellent. This helmet will do the trick. I still need a proper worker jacket, though. Did you find one? <laughs> this is like a fashion thing that they just sell at a clothing store and it happens to be like a disguise, too. <laughs> Perfect! That jacket is exactly what we need. I'll get dressed now. Mind turning around? <laughs> That's funny. I love that he's wearing like a Sherpa jacket and a chain before this. These are great. A little snug around the waistline, but... <laughs> okay, hop in the box and I'll sneak you across the checkpoint. More box sneaking. Also fantastic music as like this entire game is. You that suspicious that the box is open? Apparently not. Was he laughing? That was such a weird laugh. There's so much garbage. Be hiding in here. A lot of guards. Oh, that almost comes over here. Ah, oh, I love this. This game is so unique, like there's so many different aspects to it. The music in this game is fantastic. I just, I can't get over it. It's so well done. <laughs> the sound! It just goes to show how, how important like a good soundtrack is. Worker, hey, good thing you're here. You can help me out. I lost the keys to my place in this dark and huge factory. The Centrals refused to help me and they told me if no place to go, more work here. Oh, that's terrible. If by chance you could help me find them, I'll be eternally grateful. Okay, we gotta look around for them then. Oh, shouldn't I let me die? Don't make noise. Crap! 
It's time to get away from him. No, he's shooting me! That's so mean! I can't get away from him! He's so fast! It's too fast. Leave me alone, me! No, he's so mean! <gasps> no! Oh, that poor cat. I hate when he dies. I know he has nine lives, but he's still so sad. Our poor cat. All right, where's he gonna put us back? Oh, it's all the way over here. Oh, now I gotta go talk to that guy again. Checkpoint system could be, I think, a slightly better. You know, they could have like a few more checkpoints, but that's okay. Not the worst thing. Oh! Can you see us here? That was so close. That was too close. That was close. I gotta keep an eye out for those keys. I love this game. Like, it's amazing. I just, I'm so shocked by how good this game is after such a small, like, for a, an indie, like, first game is so good. For sure. See, this is why I'm like, so maybe some of them were used to be humans, and some of them are just, you know, regular robots. Hey, 
puzzle time. Ooh, I wonder if we can get in here. Looks like there's another one. No task. This is cute. show up. We've got to get this battery back to Clementine. Alright, how do we get out of here, though? Oh! That was easy. Kitty! In a little bucket. I love the cat in the bucket part. It's so cute. Oh my god, adorable. Okay. Oh, we didn't find the keys! Access to lower levels is restricted to organic life hazards due to organic life hazards. Please keep out of this area. Okay, we gotta go find Clementine now. At Nico Cork, we work all day long to gather the waste and send it downstairs where they recycle it and repurpose it. Or do they just throw it away? <laughs> Speaking of downstairs, it has been a while since we had some news from them. Oh, we don't have anything to say. That's sad. Hello! Sorry, little one, you can't play over here. An Eco Corp factory is no place for a little fuzzball like you. Access is restricted, but only for a little while. If you can wait for a few a years, it will be opened right back up. Oh, a few years. That's so funny. Aw, okay, is it gonna be back over here? Oh, we can show this to Clementine, that's it. Whoa, what is this place? Let's close, get lost. I wanna go to the club. I don't like clubs, but I wanna go to this club. I'm gonna go to the robot club. Cool, you can let me in the club. Come on. Uh, how do we get there again? Oh! Hey, you think you can stop us from hanging out in our digs? Do you think the criminal is eyeing my collection of vintage cards? They found her. All this work for nothing. Aww. What is this guy? He looks really upset. You can steal our spot, but you can't steal our moves. Ow. <laughs> That's so funny. Aw, he looks so sad now. You can steal our spot, but you can't steal our moves. Wait, we already talked to you. Not you. Nothing makes sense if we can't dance. Aw. DJ Mad Key tonight at the Goro 2 Club. I want to see that. Oh no. Ooh, okay. No, 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 no. He's going 
gonna kill us. He's gonna kill us. No! Run! Run! But now we know why all the Nico boxes are here for us to jump in. We'll hide until he leaves. Oh, he's really persistent. They all are like chasing after us. Please, please go away. He's just standing there. Oh no. Is he ever gonna leave? He knows, doesn't he? All right, we're gonna have to let him kill us. Now I think we can hide in the box pretty safely. Okay, now... Damn it, he knows where we are, doesn't he? Oh. Finally. Okay, I think we're safe. Can we get in there? Oh crap, he saw us. Oh no! Ah, oh, that was a failure. No, 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 that was so mean. Ah, I hate when that happens. Oh, he killed us in the box. Well, we know cats like boxes, but not to die in. us all the way back here. Damn, see this game does not have very many um, checkpoints. Oh, he runs so cute. Alright, let's try this again. No, 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 no. 
it so far that time. This slide is tough. Like send you back, back all the way at the beginning. All right, back to it. They don't even get a sky. Like they're fully underground. Oh, danger. All right, try this again. as well so you have to also be quiet that's why he's getting alerted okay that'll make now that i know i'll be more careful no running around no knocking things over look at the reflection it's really impressive yeah wow look at the reflections they look very realistic Kitty, run! Kitty, hurry! No! This way! Oh! Wait, is this Clementine still gonna be here? I assume they'd be hiding. She has a beautiful apartment. Look at this lamp. A little corner. Oh! Can you go up there? Coded message. We're going to have to play detective to figure out what happened to her. Look! For B12 and the cat, the answer lies in my stuff. 
And then there's four symbols. Ooh. It's signed, Clementine. Take a look. Okay. Plant. Huh. I'm not sure what those are. But I think we'll recognize it when we see it. Oh. Oh. This. My sensors can only detect harmless chemicals in a gaseous state. I can't retain the calming sensation I remember. Let me, like me, companions can't smell, so I wonder why they do this. There's also a message hidden under the container. It says I'm with blank, blank, blank. I think just for the vibes of it, I mean, look at how pretty it is. Oh, we can go up here. <gasps> Oh, look at how beautiful this area is! Oh, this is lovely. I want one of these! Oh, Crystal. You'd imagine exactly what type of person Clementine was. This gem is of medium value and low purity. The glow seems to have been added artificially. Maybe it acts as a beacon for us to find something useful? Bingo, the message! It says, I'm with Blazer. Blank, blank. Okay. This is beautiful. God, I love this area. I want one of these. Oh, definitely the place to take a nap. I would love to hang out in a spot like this. Aww. The purring and the music, it's so sweet. You found something? Hmm, I don't see anything. Are you sure? Huh? What an odd thing to have in the apartment. Is this the way the companions here see humans? It's kind of funny. Look, something's been left here. It says, I'm with Blake. Come to Blake. Okay, yeah, so we're almost with a message together now. We just need the plant now, I think. You found something? Hmm, I don't see anything. You sure? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a heart! I don't know what this is, but its glow is kind of mesmerizing. Sorry, I was elsewhere. Oh, I didn't even notice this message here. It reads, Oh, nightclub! We're going to the nightclub! I'm with Blazer. Come to the nightclub. That's it! Well done, Lieutenant Cat! Oh, now let's go find her. We don't have much time. I love that they're friends. It's so sweet. I love this apartment! I want this apartment. I can make my apartment like this. Now I have to get down. We made it! Much easier to get out. Okay, nightclub! Where's the nightclub? I was so excited to go to the nightclub! Oh, it's open now! <gasps> we got a trophy! Cat's best friend! I hate this club. It's full of posers, but at least there's no sentinels here. <laughs> he looks mad. She looks ready to dance. Danger! Room levels at 2%! Please find a dancing spot immediately! That's so funny. Love them. I don't think the bouncer is going to let us in. Aww. Hey guys, I think we're going to have to climb at, climb at the back again. Oh, I guess we are too. Hmm. It's not for you. Go away! Ah, let's... Let's go through the back then. Oh, look, there's somebody sitting up there in the rain.
Howdy, partner. Why don't you come over here so I can get a look at you? Oh, I want to go up. How do I get up? <gasps> Yay! Latika! La tequila! Huh? La tequila! It sounds like la tequila. Like tequila. Wonderful! Look at this cutie! Oh, that's it? <laughs> well, hello! Alex! Hey! How'd you get up here? You wanna play with us? Yes! Here, jump in and go get a drink. <laughs> I don't think the cat's having a drink, but you know. Oh, look at this place! This is so cool! Thanks, strangers, drink! <laughs> oh my god, this is so fun! Sorry, can we talk with the bartender? Look at his jacket! Hey, customer, the access to the VIP balcony is closed. Some private biz is going on here. It's been reserved by some blazer guy, I think. Oh, there it is. It's blazer. This place is so cool. We sell his drink, so, you know. Dancing's so cool. And uh, I paid extra good tonight's dance moves for the bouncer. He's the one programming the holograms in his spare time. Oh! That's so interesting. <laughs> give it all. Give it to the left and give it to the right. Beep, boop, sweep, swoop. It's called the Zakemo dance. Oh my god, these guys are so funny. Look at this guy! You like my mask? I made it myself! It jams the Sentinel scans and it looks cool. <sighs> the club sucks. When I tried to go to that stupid VIP room, they kicked me out. Me? Can you believe it? He does have good style. But I stole this lever just for kicks. If you give me a drink, I'll give you this silly lever. I don't need it and I don't want to be caught with it. Here you go. Oh, thanks my friend. Here you go, as promised. I guess we need this. Okay. Now we need to get to the balcony. I'm not sure how, though. Cool music! Aww. Enjoying yourself, little one? What do you want to do with that? Okay. Where do we put the... We need the lever, but I'm not sure where we're supposed to put it. Thank you. 
assim. I don't understand why people complain so much about them. They're probably one of the few. Can we knock over the alcohol? Yeah. <laughs> oh! Personal business is business. What? Blaze are betrayed us? That's terrible. Wow. So he's a bad guy. I can't believe he did that. Aw. Business is money. And I value money way more than friendship or camaraderie. Aw. They are all yours. This is terrible. I can't believe he did that. What an awful guy. <gasps> no, poor cat. All cat Raz trophy. I can't believe they did that. That's terrible. <gasps> Our poor cat. What the heck? I can't believe they do this. Just hanging us over like this? Oh, thank goodness we can escape. Wow, what an evil thing to do to a little cat. Did they send us to prison? Our cat's gonna break out of jail. Cat burglar now. Jail! We are in jail. How terrible! I can't believe they did this to a cat. I can't believe they put a cat in jail. This is so mean. This place is so, like, sad and gross, too. Oh, it sinks.
Whoa, they chained somebody up in here. That looks terrible. What a horrible place. And so much garbage here. That one has some fake blue sky in it. Get by this guy. Not like that. Oh no. Now we're gonna die. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes just running fast actually works surprisingly well. Okay. Uh oh. Back in the box, kitty. I wonder what happened to Clementine. I need to find a way up somehow. Oh, there. fast enough. robots are really mad now. I 
get out of here. Hmm. Not sure how I'm supposed to get out of here. through. I definitely just went back where we already were, so that's unfortunate. These robots aren't very good at directing their, their flames. Or their flames. <laughs> their stuff. Okay, that's how we're supposed to get down here. Oh, another dead robot. to get over there. Yeah, that's where we just came from. Fucking hell.
Okay. This is this what we're trying to get, right? Oh, <laughs> that was funny. Maybe we're going this way? I hope this is right. Oh, there we go! I got so lost there! Just really confused about which direction I was supposed to be going. Is that Clementine? Oh, we don't have our backpack! Oh, I did not realize we don't have our backpack anymore. Which means B12! Wait, where's B12? Oh no, I hope B12 is okay. Hmm. How do we get in here? So cute, sending the cat off just on errands. <laughs> oh, this is interesting music. Thank you. 
how they work together on this. Ow, this is so cool. Our cat is literally like a spy mastermind. <laughs> Oh, this is so fun! The platforming in this game is actually pretty well done. B12 companion compared to everybody else here. Ooh, they're on high alert now. So poorly. Oh, oh no. <laughs> How far back is it gonna send me? Oh, fucking hell. It sends you so far back. This one is fun though. <laughs> I didn't know he was gonna look there. 
And now I'm gonna do the whole thing over again. <laughs> they really punish you for killing the cat. All the way back here. No. Gotta be kidding me. Not again. Oh, God damn it. Ah! No more lives! I got a trophy for that. Well, I guess I've died. I think I've died nine times then. Wait, what does that mean? Okay, it doesn't really mean anything. Difficult section. Gamatine is just sitting there while we're like on this high stakes heist to rescue B12. Crap, that was bad timing. They are friends. It is so cute. Clementine, I'm so glad they were all together again, but we're not safe yet. We need to find a way out of here. Can you open the door just there? for me again, aren't ya? Oh. 
loud. Oh, you're gonna go, oh my God, this is so funny. in the way again they will spot me instantly maybe you can try to bait them into the cells and lock them in who's this pablo do you see that guy on the ground over there he was rebooted i don't want to lose my memory i'm so scared oh, this is horrible Oh, he didn't even see me. Ah! That was fun. They deserve that after everything they've done to us. Escape with us, robot! Controls the sentinels. This poor fellow. It seems that the sentinels are ruthless when it comes to defying them. Horrible. That's what I feared. They have completely erased him. No more emotions, no more self awareness, no more memories. Please, let's not get caught. Oh my god, and V12 is a person, like, everything that is left of a person would be gone. Capone, hey, don't get me in trouble. I only have 758 years left and then I'm free again. Oh my god, that's so long. Not the play then. <laughs> oh no, how far is it gonna put me to get back? <laughs> oh wow, this is get this game is getting difficult. Okay, I didn't get it's not too difficult. Alright, here we go. Maybe I do need both doors. be difficult because you have to like you have to get them to see you and bait them in Oh, are they following? 
Yeah, take this chance to escape. No, they're gonna stay. They're gonna stay in prison. Be doing something? Oh, they don't need to go around. She was trying to unlock the door, so I was kind of a little confused, but I think we're okay. This door is the only way out of this jail. I think we can open it from the control room over there. We have to find a way to get access to that room, though. Let's look around. <laughs> oh, it's a dead tree. That's sad. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna drive the car. We're in luck. They left the keys in the door. Hop on the back of the truck. You should be able to jump over the fence to access the secure area. That's so funny. Too bad the cat's not driving the truck, that would be even cuter. Aw, oh, this is really cute. but you have to go. The Outsider's Manifesto says, we must go outside at any cost. I wrote that. This is so sad, everybody's getting left behind. You're one of us now. It's not that everyone has to get outside, but one of us has to. Subway key. Go now, I'll keep you in my ram, little Outsider. This is really sad. I can't believe how sad this is. Nobody's gonna make it. 
They're all stuck here. That's so tragic. I wonder whose little reading room this is. Nobody's gonna make it with him. Their little cat. I hope Clementine is all right. Let's fix the subway and get out of here. Not sure how you fix this. Nico Corporation, they really are everywhere. Oh, this is so neat. Riding this is gonna be a, it's gonna be like, I really hope they do a really cool cutscene of that. We get to ride the subway for the first time in probably hundreds of years. Here we go. Oh look, there's even a subway map now. Greetings, inhabitant of Wall City 99. This place looks so different. What is going on here? Is the whole world robots? I am currently painting this area. Please be careful of the wet paint. Have a nice day. Huh. They don't have names either. Like they're just robots. City sealed. There's control room. Everything works here. And everything's like clean. <gasps> Whoa! Is this is what it looks like over the city. Oh my god. Look, you can see. So that's mid uh, Midtown and then down the slums. And you can see it's actually not a huge area that's been walled off. But everybody in it has been locked. Locked in. Why is this so much nicer than everything else? Like everything else is 
a little bit old and, and grimy and falling apart, and here it's like perfectly clean. And the robots are like not people. Hello, the city has been field sealed for your safety. Please refer to the certified engineer inside the control room if you have any requests. Have a nice day. It's gonna be in the control room. The control room is closed by some sort of security pro protocol. It says that only humans are authorized to enter. Oh. It also says that I'm not considered human. Hey, that's offensive, security protocol. Maybe if we work together, we can open the passageway. curious to see who's gonna be here. This is a control room for the entire city. They controlled everything from here. It's empty. I remember hating them so much. They had everything. Clean space, limitless power, freedom to move. Little Geta did them. They all died. Like, I remember now. Everyone was dying, and they were thought they were above it all. They did nothing to help us. I watched my fa- I watched my family die. I felt helpless. Do anything to save them. Family died. But I can still help you. We can still go outside together. Oh my god. I will carry the memories of humanity and the people I loved. This is so tragic. Oh, that is not what I was expecting to find here. I, I, I thought they would find something happy here. There's nobody here. I can't believe there's nobody here. So I guess, like, the Sentinels are still running only, like, because that's what they were, like, built to do, but there's nobody actually telling them to do it anymore. There's nobody actually controlling them. This is the is it, the main computer. According to the mainframe, no one has been here for years. The whole city is stuck in a lockdown cycle from long ago. If we disable it, we should be able to leave. We need to bring the rest of the systems online. These computers hold the data we need. We need to turn them on. While you do that, I'll look for passwords and encrypted keys into the system. Wow. I'm like in shock right now. This is not what I expected at all. Alright, how do I turn these on? So they put the city in this whole barrier to stop a plague from getting out. And it didn't even matter because everybody died and there's nobody- Like, is there anybody on the outside? I don't think so. This is also really like... Hard right now, considering like <laughs> we just got out of a plague. I'm not 
not sure how I'm supposed to turn these on. They even left the coffee cups here. safest city. Why did they wall them in to stop the the virus from getting here? I found it. I know how to open the city. Something's off here. Wait, maybe there's a way around it. Roof control. This is unlocked. There, that's the workstation to open the city. But there are several layers of security preventing us from using it. Now we need to do what we do best. Me, I'll hack the machines, and you, destroy some stuff. That's so cute. What am I supposed to do? Cute. I thought that he was like, go destroy some stuff. I think that's enough to do it now. I wonder where this door leads. Like, where did they all live? Where did they all go? Can we hack it now? Down that corner. Oh, 
Here we go. Oh, I'll do 12. <laughs> ah! Don't worry, I can recharge once we open up that workstation. Is there more? Oh, he's not looking so good. Oh, there's one more. Okay. Where is it? Oh, feels so bad for B12. Oh, this one. genuinely so fun. B12! I think I, I think this little body is done for. It's okay. I'll be alright. Just carry me to the workstation. We can disable our, that alarm. Please don't lose B12 too. That's it. We're safe. Listen, I have something to tell you. I knew the power required to disable the city's central control system would be immense. More than this drone body could handle. Oh no. We're gonna have to say goodbye to B12, aren't we? But with the security system now disabled, I can take control of the system and open the city. Overriding it could destroy my software. But I made the choice when I hooked into the first computer, and the consequences it could bring. Oh, B12. Sorry, we won't see the outside again. This is so, so sad. I can't believe B12 isn't coming with us. I can't believe... I can't believe nobody is coming with us. Every friend we've met along the way is staying behind. Oh, this is super emotional, B12. He lost his family, and now he's gonna lose his life. But he's still- he's a hero. A hero who's gonna open the city. And maybe he doesn't want to live as a robot forever, but... It's so sad. I thought I need to carry on the memories of humanity. Hold on to the past. But I see a future in the companions. I knew. Oh my god. I am so sad right now. Here. Let me take that off you. <laughs> He's taking it away. Oh my god, this is so sad. <laughs> you are my friend, the very best I could have asked for. Thank you. This is so... So sad, but also, like, beautiful. Goodbye, B12. We never knew his real name. Oh 
my god, though, this better be so beautiful to make up for how sad that was. <laughs> that was just, like, incredibly shockingly sad. <sighs> what is that gonna do to the dirt? Oh, it's, yeah, it's popping them off. Oh my god. Sunlight for the first time. like having had a pet cat and like like her my cat my goal and my dog Winston like were actually like friends like they were they were like real friends and they would like keep each other company when humans weren't around and like and like when they would like sleep next to each other oh my god <laughs> I'm like losing it right now um they would like sleep next to each other and like watch out for each other and then when my cat died, my dog like would, would keep looking for her because he couldn't understand why he was why my cat was gone. Oh my god, I did not expect to cry this much. And yeah, so it's just like seeing the cat like, you know, lying next to its dead friend is like like animals like they kind of understand death, but like oh my god, it just reminds me of my my dog Winston, like, you know, waiting 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 for my cat to come home when she never was going to. Oh my god. I did not know this was gonna be so, so heartbreaking. Beautiful, but so, super heartbreaking. Okay. Wow. Look at the city. God, it's so beautiful now. Like, it has completely changed from this, like, dark and kind of dangerous how, was it moments of beauty, but still dangerous and completely dark. And now, like, look at how light and beautiful it is. Finally, I can see the sky. What now? Four B twelve. How does? No longer has his friend, but. She's about to go home to her other cat friends. They're so cleaning. We go now. City open. City is actually open. You can freely get in and get out. Here we go. Let's see what the outside world looks like. Oh. Everybody's gonna be able to join them too, like the robots. <gasps> they come too. Oh, look, a pigeon! again in the sunlight. over. I'm gonna start crying again. 
I kind of like knew this was gonna be a bit of an emotional experience, but I honestly didn't expect to cry this much. Like I have like mourned the loss of my cat, but like I feel like this game just like brought like really reminded me and made me think of my cat and like how much, you know, she's like a part of the family after being in my life for like almost all of my life. Like we got her when I was four years old. And now like oh, that was so beautiful. That was like an incredibly, incredibly beautiful game. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna cry all over again. Oh my god, I haven't been this emotional in a long time. Like, oh my god, that was so beautiful. Oh, okay, I just need a minute. I'm gonna be okay. I'm okay, guys. Like, these are like tears of like sadness, but also happiness. You know, like, I miss my cat. She had a long, happy, happy life. Like, she died of old age, and uh, this is like a beautiful like memory to her playing this and it was a beautiful game and as much as it was so sad to see B12 fall like that like oh god that was really really hard to watch like B12 just kind of like fall and our cat curl up next to him. It also like is a little bit poetic like he was the last human mind and he came from a lot of tragedy like watching his family die and the city shut down like this and then having to live for hundreds of years in a computer, like that is with nothing to do but think and remember and, and feel sad. Like, I think probably for the best for his mind to be let go so he'd finally be at peace and be with his family, as sad as it was. And you know, like he's still a human. What was he gonna do chasing after a cat all the time? Like as much as it was wonderful to see their friendship, I think that was like the best thing for him, for B12. And, uh, you know, our cat is gonna be okay. Like, our cat met so many friends. But it's not sad because our cat, this is, this is wonderful. Sad cats and dogs, that's beautiful. I love that they added that. But yeah, our, our cat is gonna go back to her family. His, I, I never, I kept switching between him and her. Um, our cat is gonna go back to its family and just be happy and be outside. And the robots are so happy now too. Like, the Sentinels are gone. Nucacorp are gone. The Zerks are gone. They have sunlight, they have their city, and they can come and go whenever they want. And I'm now not so sure that um, they are human minds uploading the robot. It might have just been D12, B12, and they might just be their, really their own society that has kind of been, you know, grown up in place of people. And it's something beautiful, too. And they're gonna make something beautiful, and it's lovely. This is just a lovely game discovering what was happening here. Like, I honestly kind of expected this to just be more exploring and not have like a huge story or like, you know, things where you could die and stuff. But this game was really unexpected and was so much better than I expected it to be. Like, I knew it was going to be great because it's a cat game, but they really, it's a fantastic game, like cat aside. And uh, yeah, so, Really interesting in discovering the story. I'm glad they like actually showed us like what happened to people. I was worried they would never, I was like, maybe it's one of those things where they're never gonna tell us what actually happened to the people. And I'm glad they did. It was interesting to learn that like, so essentially humans were wiped out by a plague. Well, we don't know if there's any outside of the city, but I'm assuming they're not. Um, were wiped out by a plague and they built this city to like protect from the plague or something to be a safe space. But then they closed, I guess they couldn't let anything in, that's why they fully closed it off. But then they all died anyways from the plague. And in the process, they also destroyed themselves with the Zerks and created this like divided society for no reason. Like nobody was controlling the Sentinels, which was kind of crazy for all these hundreds of years. So fascinating, and you know, not so far off from what's happening, you know, destroying the world, destroying like climate change and plagues and all this stuff like it's kind of scary because it's kind of true but also I just I think it had a beautiful ending I mean like there are people there are well robots not humans but there are like something will live on I think that's a beautiful message my goodness this game was absolutely phenomenal like wow this this game it's short and I know it's only like an in a short indie game but like I feel like this game could contend for some you know game of the year nominations it's not gonna beat out ragnarok and all the ring but like it's so beautiful and for what they they just accomplished what they wanted to so so well 
Oh, that was beautiful. I want to play it again for sure. I'm absolutely going to play it again and get all, find everything, finish all the stuff I didn't finish. Like, I need to fully explore this game because it deserves that. It's that beautiful. I really hope they make a sequel too. It was just so beautiful and like, I want to see more. Although, I don't know how they would do it. Like, actually, you know what? They could. Like, the robots can leave now. You can see what happens next. And like, um, I just want to see more. It was so short, but I feel like I don't mind that it was short because I think, yeah, they just, they did exactly what they were meant to do, you know? Like, I wish I could, I wish there was more because I want to play more, but I also don't think they needed more. Like, they just accomplished it so well in such a short amount of time. And this is so beautiful. And I, this is definitely on my list of favorite games now, like, for sure. It was beautiful. I can't believe Annapurna put, Annapurna put this together. Like, and also just the stories behind their production, too, about talking about how, like, the cats that were inspiration, like the cat actors and how they tried so hard to make it realistic to a cat. Like, oh, this whole game. If there are people out there who haven't played it, like, definitely go do it because it's, it's amazing. I love it. I'm just, oh. wow, I need to feel like I need to go eat some like chocolate and ice cream and like <laughs> just be in my, be in my feelings after this game because it was a lot, but in a good way. Just, it was definitely a lot. Like, <laughs> I made ice cream and Netflix after that. Or maybe some like calming music. Maybe I'll just go and listen to the soundtrack and eat ice cream. That actually sounds like exactly what I need right now. I want to get in bed in my PJs, eat ice cream, and listen to the soundtrack of this game, and then think about playing it again pretty soon. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for joining me on this adventure. It was truly something so special, and it really meant so much to me just because of like, yeah, it just meant a lot to me, and it meant a lot to be able to share it with you guys and just hear about how much this game like has impacted you guys too. Like, Oh my god, wow. So I really, I really appreciate you guys joining me for this. If there are some of you out there who haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you do so that you can join me for more gaming adventures. If there is another stray, I will definitely play it. Um, please leave a like, leave a comment on what you thought. Did you cry at the ending? Like, what have you thought of this game? I would love to hear your guys' takes on it too. Other than that, I hope you have an actually ah, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day or night whenever you're watching this. I truly, truly love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next game. Bye, guys. Go hug your cats and your pets if you can, because I can't right now for mine because they're not here. So go do it for me. Go hug your cat or your dog, and leave a comment with the name of your cat and dog and what the read is or description, actually. Just going to add that in, please. Okay. Bye, guys.